Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Track to Tread YouTube channel. And today we're gonna to take a closer look at the Land Pride Quick Attached Post Hole Digger. The tractor that we have this post hole digger mounted on today is a Kubota B2650. There is a couple ways that you can order this post hole digger. You can get it with a bucket mount or you can get it with what's shown here with the quick attach and the eight foot hoses or I do believe you can get it with 24 foot hoses. The post hole digger that we're using today in the video is a Land Pride SA20-05 with a nine inch auger. Depending on which motor you get, it will require six to 30 gallons per minute on the hydraulic system on the tractor. When you order this post hole digger, you have three different choices on the motor. You have low, medium, and high. Low is six to 15 gallons per minute. Medium is 10 to 20 gallons per minute. And high is 15 to 30 gallons per minute. Today we're using the medium option and that's uh, 10 to 20 gallons per minute. The Kubota B2650 tractor is rated at 8.7 gallons per minute. The drive is a two inch hex. The augers available are 9, 12, 15, 18, 24, 30, and 36. You can also get a tree auger 24, 30, or 36. And you definitely wanna to talk to your dealer if you're gonna be buying a tree auger and see what motor might work the best. Take a closer look at the quick attach mount and how the motor mounts to the mount and your two inch hex and your nine inch auger. With the auger standing straight up and down on the ground, you can see it has a little bit of a tilt to it. And if you look on the side of the motor, there's this little red tab and that'll tell you from the driver's seat whether you're vertical or not by lining up that line right there so you can get a good start on your hole, make it nice and straight. So we'll get a measurement from the bottom of the auger to the top of the pin is 70 inches. And you can lift the loader all the way up and you will still have some room to maneuver around, but you can also tilt this up, which I'll show you in just a bit. Now I'll show you guys by moving the control on the loader arm, you can angle that auger straight out and move location to location. The hoses from the motor will connect right into your third function valve on the front of the loader. The controls for the auger are on the two buttons right on your loader arm. When you tilt the loader arm back and forth, just like your bucket, it'll tilt your auger up or down. Okay, we're ready to test the post hole digger out. We're gonna lower the auger slowly into the ground and from our first initial test, it does better letting the loader float instead of driving it into the ground. If you drive it into the ground, it will sway a little bit or, or go at an angle. So let's go ahead and start up the tractor and we're gonna lower the auger into the ground. Doesn't have a whole lot of speed. does seem to go right in uh, to the ground pretty easy. This is like a clay soil. It only took uh, maybe a, just uh, two, three minutes to dig uh, th just about three foot down. Now we're gonna be digging another hole and you do wanna use the float of the loader to get it started. Then you can put pressure on your auger, driving it into the ground. This is using the nine inch auger going in dirt and clay. Doesn't have a whole lot of speed, but it doesn't seem to be lacking any power going into the ground. So I was really happy to have the opportunity to film this for you guys today. The customer asked, why not put a post hole digger on the three point hitch? 
Well, on a small tractor like that, the post hole digger doesn't have a lot of weight. And there is no downforce when you use the three-point hitch. So it's only the weight of the post hole digger going into the ground, and the customer is gonna be going into hard rock and shale. Now you can buy a kit from Land Pride to add down pressure with your three-point hitch, but it still doesn't add as much as the loader. Going down about 30, 36 inches. Still no loss of power, and you're able to lift the auger right out of the hole. By touching the buttons a little on the third function valve, you can shake some of the dirt off your auger. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group. That's Tractor Tread-Use Tractors for Sale. I'm Mark with the Tractor Tread YouTube channel. See you on the next one.